Hello! Today marks the start of our month of Thanksgiving program. I know that in the circumstances we find ourselves in at this time, it might seem like an odd time to start a program that promotes positivity and gratefulness. However, the more time that I've spent thinking and praying about this program, the more reasons I find to convince me to continue. So the first reason being just the fact that it is such a weird time. And that probably means all the more reason why it's a great time to do it. We need this right now. And a second reason and an important reason for all those tuning in from St. Paul is the fact that Father Christopher really wanted this program to happen. From the first time that I mentioned this program to Father Christopher, he immediately jumped on board and he said it was a great idea and that he thought it was perfect for the people of our parish. So I would like to honor his recommendation and his blessing over this program and continue doing it. So with that, let's begin. Most people, before starting or doing something, or stopping or not doing something, want to know the benefits of it for them. How will this benefit me? For example, I know the research that has been done and the facts about healthy eating and how it benefits, for, benefits you. So, because I know that, I know that I should stop and not eat that third brownie today, even though I want it. Anyways, <laughs> because some of you might be asking about how will this benefit me, this program, I have done some research and I read some studies and the results of those studies and compiled a list of some of the benefits of having an attitude of gratitude for you. But I didn't want to be boring and read you a list, so I coerced some of my coworkers to help me make a short, hopefully somewhat amusing video explaining some of those. Research shows that adopting an attitude of gratitude, simply expressing appreciation and being more thankful, can measurably improve your overall well-being. Studies show that gratitude can help in various ways. There are emotional benefits, social benefits, personality benefits, work benefits, and health benefits. I'll list just three of the emotional benefits. Practicing an attitude of gratitude makes us happier. Studies show that simply journaling for five minutes a day about what we are grateful for can enhance our long-term happiness by over 10%. Researcher, whose name I cannot pronounce, found that even when controlling for personality, a high level of gratitude has a strong positive impact on psychological well-being, self-esteem, and depression. And the last emotional benefit I will mention, even though there are more, feeling grateful every day keeps the envy at bay. Research has shown that gratitude reduces envy, facilitates positive emotions, and makes us more resilient. Moving on to a few social benefits. Those who are more grateful have access to a wider social network, more friends, and better relationships on average, this is likely because of the effect that being grateful has on how trustworthy, social, and appreciative we seem to others. Additionally, a recent study found that expressing gratitude to our loved ones results in improved quality in the relationship. Showing our gratitude to loved ones is a great way to make them feel good, make us feel good, and make the relationship better in general. Boom. And the last social benefit I will mention is that gratitude decreases people's selfishness and increases their giving. Evidence has shown that people who practice gratitude are more likely to share with others, even at the expense of themselves. The 
The last research I will share with you are three health benefits. Reduced blood pressure. Improved quality of sleep because people who capture grateful thoughts before bed sleep better than those who don't. And interestingly enough, participants who practiced gratitude regularly for 11 weeks were more likely to exercise than those in the control group. So now that we just watched that video with some of the benefits listed of having a grateful heart and attitude of gratitude, I just wanted to clarify that this program, this attitude of gratitude is in no means trying to say that there is no suffering and no bad things that are going on. Like those things are real and we're not trying to forget about those. Um, and if you need to talk to somebody about those or go seek help, like please do. Um, this having an attitude of gratitude obviously is just not gonna like fix everything in your life um, and make everything great. But I think it will help. And research shows that it does. And it may not be an end all be all solution and probably it won't be, but it will help. And I think that we just tend to focus on negative things too often. Um, even myself included, like just thinking about going through the day and especially if, you know, those days that you just wake up in a bad mood and you're just going through the day and literally everything that could go wrong when you're in a bad mood goes wrong. That's a little exagger exaggeration. I know, but it's like when we're in this negative mindset we keep finding things that are negative and keep finding things that went wrong through the day. Versus when we're in a grateful mindset, we're gonna be able to find more grateful things in the day, more things that went well. Because typically how we live in our culture is very negative and we always wanna find all the bad things really quickly and we're very quick to point them out to other people. So I just challenge you throughout this month and hopefully onward that we are called to be different. We are supposed to be living in gratitude, seeing the good around us. And when we start seeing the good around us, it not only helps us as individuals, but it kind of points to something larger than ourselves. It takes us out of this individualism of me, 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 and it points us to other people and to nature, and most importantly, God, the giver of all gifts. And so if we have this attitude of gratitude, we're more connected into the whole totality of everything versus staying very individual and negative. So today we talked about the attitude of gratitude and how it can benefit you, but next time we're going to talk about something even more important. We're going to talk about how if you are to call yourself a Christian, how this attitude of gratitude is actually necessary. We're going to talk about how this attitude of gratitude connects to our faith and how we hear it in the Mass, and how it's actually our duty and our salvation to practice this attitude of gratitude. So tune in next week, same time. Uh, in the meantime, if you want to comment and share something that stood out to you in this video, I'd love to hear. So I'll see you next week.